Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shin of all ages, Hollywood show now here, about to give you another Mortal Kombat X live stream while we're chilling in the Injustice 2 lobby. And in this video, we're going to be doing the full five battles of the Cold War Sub Zero Challenge. I'd like to first start off by apologizing to a lot of people. I am super late on this YouTube video, mostly because I've had a kick with Diablo 3 Season 9. And also, I just kind of needed a break from the mobile games, you know, just been kind of playing a couple other things. I've been playing Dawn of Titans. If you want to join the clan Lion's Blood, you can do that on Dawn of Titans. I've been playing that a little bit. Obviously, I'm still playing Clash Royale a little bit, having some fun three crowning noobs that are higher level than me. But I just wanted to get out there that we will be returning to regular videos very shortly. I'm very sad about the Green Bay Packers not making it to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, Atlanta will be in New England. I'm glad that Pittsburgh didn't make it, so I'm very happy for that. So in the first matchup, only bronze tier characters allowed on your team. We're going to have to change our roster. So we're going to filter out all the cards except for the bronze cards. Normally I do this before I start the stream, but we're going to do it right now. So this is normal difficulty, not really a big deal. We're going to throw in Saurian. Let's throw in Lin Kuei, and everybody likes to see me punch people's dicks off. So Johnny let's use Ninja Mime Johnny Cage primarily. So for gear, we're going to use the Wrath Hammer. Let's use the Bloody Shokin Armor. And for the ring... We could actually go with, let's the Brawler Gloves. Let's go with the Bloody Voodoo Doll so we can hit people in the dick even more. So in the first matchup, we have Sergeant Oni and Muck. Cards start off at level 5 bronze. Let's get the matches 1,000 coins. Fight. So Sergeant easily wiped out. Muck gets hit right in the dick. That burn for 105. And we're going to punch Oni right in his big hairy nutsack for the victory in the first fight. 616 XP, 200 coins. What the hell just happened to my game? In the second matchup, we have Saurian, Oshchek, and Trooper. Cards gain a level of 6. Got the matches 1,000 coins. Oh yeah, well I do have Injustice 1, obviously. I am one of the biggest YouTubers for mobile. We're gonna punch Trooper right in her pussy, kinda like Donald Trump. For the victory and start your fight. 623 XP, 300 coins. In the third matchup, we have Oni, Monk, and Lin Kuei. Cards gain a level of 7, so the match is 1,000 coins. So we're going to start off by punching Oni right in his balls. Get rid of him. Monk comes in with a big ass cartwheel thinking that he's a fucking super guy. Lin Kuei comes in with the miss for whopping 104. And we're going to punch Lin Kuei right in the balls as well for the victory in the third fight. 630 XP, 400 coins, and we get another 3,000 for winning three matches. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. Run up against Saurian, Shuri Ryu, and Sergeant. Cards gain a level of 8. So the match is now 2,500 coins. Who has gotten 4 Honor Beta for the Xbox One? Who wants to play with Hollywood Shono on Thursday? We're going to punch Shuri Ryu right in his dick. Sergeant comes in. We're going to hit him right in the balls, too, for the victory in the fourth fight. 's got a beta cut along it took for you to get the email well I signed up for four honor I think it was a couple days ago and justice I signed up for I think a day or two ago when I think Dylan sent the link I'm not sure 638 XP 500 coins and for completing one third of the first battle we received 2,000 coins in the fifth matchup we have Oshtek, Lin Kuei, and Oni cards gain a level of nine so the match is 2,500 coins Oshtek gets eliminated. Lin Kuei is going to get hit right in the dick. Oni comes in. And he's going to get bashed out easily for the victory in the fifth fight. 645 XP, 600 coins. In the sixth matchup, we have Saurian, Monk, and Trooper. Cards gain a level of 10. So the match is 2,500 coins. Sorry, and eliminated. We're gonna punch Trooper right in her pussy. Impressive. 
Monk we're gonna hit right in the balls as well. Of course, a victory is six. How many people are liking these nut punches, by the way? You guys want to see some more in the fourth and fifth battles? 652 XP, 700 coins. In the seventh matchup, we have Sergeant Oshtek and Lin Kuei. Cards get a level to 11, so the match is 5,000 coins. Nut punches for days, eh? You guys want to see 60... 63 fights with nut punches? We'll probably ready that. Oshtek is going to get eliminated. Lin Kuei comes in. We're going to punch him in the dick as well for the victory of the seventh fight. 659 XP, 800 coins as we get two souls for winning seven battles. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic. Your team takes damage as the match goes on. Going up against Trooper, Shuri, Ryu, and Oni. Cards gain a level at 12. So the match is 5,000 coins. Fight. The only codes were just given out this afternoon, and they will come in waves according to what was said in the Watchtower stream. Then Quay's better than the other two. Uh, Johnny Cake likes hitting people in the nuts, so I'm fine with hitting people in the balls. Princess appeared in the shop today. I couldn't buy her. That's when you pull out your wallet, Grim Reaper, and give Supercell like $10. That's what I did for like five or six legendaries. 667 XP, 900 coins. And for completing two thirds of the first battle, we received 3,000 coins. In the ninth matchup, we have Sarian, Sergeant, and Lin Kuei. Cards again a level to 13. So the match is 5,000 coins. I heard they revealed Robin. Anybody else hear that too? Sergeant is in, trying to do away with Johnny Cage. We're going to get rid of Sergeant. Lin Kuei comes in, and we're going to hit him right in the cock for the victory in the ninth fight. 1,348 XP, 1,000 coins. In the 10th matchup, we have Monk, Oshchek, and Shuri Ryu. Cards gain a load of 14, so the match is now 7,500 coins. So you guys would rather see Lin Kuei instead of Johnny Cage. The thing with Johnny Cage is bronze, silver, and gold. You can't use Lin Kuei in the third battle. At least with Johnny Cage, assuming that... Stuck Ops are allowed, you can actually use all 63 fights with Johnny Cage. And there will be a lot of dick shotting if that is the case. As Oshtek gets eliminated for the victory in the time fight. 1,363 XP, 1,100 coins. Alright, so let's go back really quick and gold Spec Ops character. So yes, we can use Johnny Cage and just nut punch everybody if we want to. I think we do, so we're going to do it. 63 fights. 63 fights with punching people in the dick. Let's do it. In the 11th matchup, we have Saurian, Oni, and Lin Kuei. Cards gain a level of 15. It's going to match 7,500 coins. Uh, Kyle334-7471. I heard it was random. Just got to get lucky with that. We got the nut punch. I believe we missed on that. Oni comes in. For those of you guys that are not aware, I am one of the biggest Injustice Mobile players for Injustice.com. Thank you all for watching the Injustice 2 stream of Mortal Kombat X. And I apologize, I do not have a beta code, but I want to get a little more exposure to my stream. Sergeant gets eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. 1,377 XP, 1,200 coins. But yes, you can sign up for Injustice 2 beta by beta. Dot injustice.com and what's going on Teddy Tall how you doing in the 12th matchup we have challenge vampires enemies drain your life to regain their own run up against trooper sergeant and Ashtak. cards gain a level of 16 so the match is 7,500 coins Fight. A punch trooper right in her wet pussy sergeant comes in <laughs> And because we can, we're going to punch Sergeant right in his cock. Our shot comes in. Charge hit. Can we punch Oshtag right in his dick? Yes, we can. Three dick shots for the victory in the fourth fight. So you guys think that uh, Trooper's pussy's really dry? I heard that Sergeant was kind of ripping it this morning at a 7-Eleven. 
12 matches for 4 souls, 1,300 coins, 1,392 XP, and for completing the first battle, we received 10,000 coins. So in the second matchup, Silver and Bronze tier characters along your team, lucky enough, we can still do some dick shots with Ninja Mime Johnny Cage and then switch out to Silver Johnny Cage for the next 12. So in the first matchup, we have Shuri Ryu, Lin Kuei, and Reptile. Cards start off at level 14, the right card is Silver. Let's get the matches, 2,500 coins. But yeah, Robin and Poison Ivy are now officially confirmed for Justice 2. The story trailer confirmed Bane, but don't know how I feel about that, but whatever. I personally welcome Bane to Injustice 2. You know, he's a major character in the first Injustice game, and I really think that he's a good fit for the game, especially with Donald Trump being president. Who heard about that presidential speech and Bane getting, like, huge publicity because Bane started a trend that Donald Trump did? that we are giving back to the people. If that doesn't scream putting Bane in Injustice 2, what the fuck is gonna, is gonna take to put Bane in? 1,377 XP, 300 coins. In the second matchup, we have Saurian, Oshtek, and Kano. Cards gain two levels of 16. So the match is 2,500 coins. Uh, when the beta finishes, can you uninstall the program for my Xbox One? Yes, you can. By the way, if you're in the Four Honor beta, Hollywood Shona will be playing it on Thursday morning, so be sure to hit that follow button, and I'd love to play with some of you guys. As Kano gets punched right in his rock-hard cock for the victory in the second fight. 1,392 XP, 400 coins. So in the third matchup, we have Oni, Sergeant, and Devorah. Cards again at level 17. So the match is 2,500 coins. Unless you consider Sweaty to be wet. Well, in the case of Sergeant, he doesn't get much action. Sweaty or wet is probably better than no pussy whatsoever. Um, Kyle, I signed up for it from the Ubisoft website. I am going to be getting my friend into it, so unfortunately all the spots are taken. Uh, ben David's going to get a code, and then probably Savage Wolf and... Either Kevin, Vince, or Scott B. Thank you, Kyle. 833-47471 for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Assholes Club. 1,406 XP, 500 coins. So in the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Run up against Lin Kuei, Trooper, and Kolo Khan. Cards gain a low to 18. So the match is 5,000 coins. For anybody that is watching this Mortal Kombat X video on YouTube, I will be streaming the 4 Honor Beta live right when it launches at 9 o'clock in the morning on Xbox One. I am working until 8.30 in the morning, so I'm going to try to stay awake as long as I can to stream. Obviously, I do have to work the next day, but hopefully we can get some good views for the 4 Honor Closed Beta. I'd love to just beat the fuck out of some people. Kobo Khan comes in, we're going to hit him right in the dick. I'm gonna hit him in the dick again. He does block it. He must have a tongue or something. Or he's just blocking with a cock. Kobo Khan gets eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. I went with the Viking faction for four honor, so we'll see how that goes. 1421 XP, 600 coins. So for completing 132 second battle, we receive 4,000 coins. If I sign up now, could I get the 4 Honor beta? Highly unlikely. However, the beta doesn't start until the 26th, so never say never. You do also have the option, if you have a friend with the game, hint, not me. They have the option to invite three people. So ask your friends around if they got into the beta. Maybe they'll be able to help you out. Supergirl, they fixed her face and then fucked up her face again. I didn't see the updated face, uh, Grim Reaper Death Clutch. If you submit your beta code right now, can I play it or I have to wait? If you have the beta code for for Honor, you have to wait until Thursday at 9 in the morning. And it's good until 8 p.m. on Sunday. If you have an Injustice 2 online beta code, yes, you can play right now. So in the fifth matchup, we have Monk, Sergeant, and Kung Jin. Cards gain a level of 19, so the match is 5,000 cards. And the beta is the original punch. They must have got a lot of complaints about that. Why they'd have to fix the face. 
Hulk gets punched right in the dick for the elimination. Sergeant comes in. We're gonna punch him right in the dick too for trying to fuck Cooper. More than one. Especially anal sex. Can you imagine getting Jackson hard cock in Trooper? That's disgusting. Kung Jin gets eliminated for the victory in the fifth fight. 2,153 XP, 700 coins. In the sixth matchup, we have Lin Kuei, Oni, and Sub Zero. Cards gain a level of 20, so the match is 5,000 coins. Quay gets eliminated, Sub Zero comes in. A punch Sub Zero in the dick. Join your beat now. And we're gonna punch him in the dick. Sub Zero eliminated. Oni comes in. Look for an unblocked attack. There it is. So we're gonna punch Oni right in the dick for the victory. Join your beat down. 2175 XP, 800 coins. In the seventh matchup, we have Trooper Sergeant and Sonya Blade. So we can actually switch out for Silver Johnny Cage now. Let's just leave the other cards in momentarily. We put in diamond cards. We need silver. So let's do that. So we have Johnny Cage. This is going to be an all dick shot challenge just to have a little bit of fun here. So there's Johnny Cage at level 37. Johnny Cage. Fusion 4. Definitely kicking some ass. So we have the Wrath Hammer. Again, we're going to use the Bloody Voodoo Doll, and we're going to use the Bloody Shokin Armor. The reason for that, we want more dick shots. So on the seventh matchup, we have Trooper, Sergeant, and Sonya Blade. Cards are getting a level of 21, so the match is now 7,500 coins. Dick shots will be flying, bros. I send the beta code to my mail, but it doesn't arrive. What do I do? You might not have got a code. The trooper gets eliminated. We're going to punch Sergeant right in the dick. And Sonya Blade gets pussy punched for the victory of the seventh fight. 2,196 XP, 900 coins. In the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Time, Win Before Time Expires. It's going up against Saurian, Oshtek, and Cassie Cage. Cards again at level 22, so the match is 7,500 coins. Two minutes to complete the fight. Sarian is gone. Cassie Cage is in. Let's just punch her in the pussy. Like a whore. And Oxtech will be eliminated for the victory in the eighth fight. One minute and 52 seconds to spare. I did not get a beta code, Death Slayer. 2,218 XP, 1,000 coins. And for completing two thirds of the second battle, we receive 5,000 coins. So, in the ninth matchup, we have Lin Kuei, Sergeant, and Johnny Cage. Cards gain a level of 23. So, the match is 7,500 coins. Let's start off by punching Lin Kuei right in the dick. Johnny Cage is in. What better way to eliminate Johnny Cage with a dick shot on himself? And Sergeant gets eliminated for the victory in the ninth fight. Join your beat down. 2,240 XP, 1,100 coins. So I'm going to make a roster change. So we're going to take the bronze filter off. Only have silver cards. So Sonya Blade in the fifth battle, we can't use her. Let's sort by weakest attack. And that's how we'll figure out the partners. We can't use those guys. Let's put in Farmer Jax Briggs, who is black. And let's throw in Jax Briggs, who's also black. So in the 10th matchup, we have Saurian, Oni, and Scorpion. Cards are getting a level of 24, so the match is now 10,000 coins. You got your Xbox One taken away. Well, if you get a code, give it to me, then. And I'll make sure that I put you in my streams and videos if you get a code. If you got your Xbox One taken away. I'll make sure that I mention your name, whatever you want, in a little corner of the window. Say, code presented by Grim Reaper. And you can even leave your Twitter handle or whatever else. Only gets punched right in the dick for the victory. Um, you might not even get picked. It's not like an open beta, so they just gotta pick you. 2,262 XP, 1,200 coins. In the 11th matchup, we have Monk, Oshtek, and Jackie Briggs. Cards get a level of 25, so the match is 10,000 coins. Oh, 
gonna punch Monk right in the mouth. Join your beat down. The Toilini by Oshtag does like no damage. I'm gonna punch Jackie Ray right in her puss. A lot of shots on girls today. Oshtag gets jabbed out for the victory in the 11th fight. 2,283 XP, 1,300 coins. In the 12th matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic. Your team takes damage as the match goes on. Going up against Shuri, Ryu, Lin Kuei, and Jax Briggs. Cards gain a level 26. The second and third cards have a promotion. So the match is 10,000 coins. Uh, Teddy, you can add me to Xbox Live. Obviously, the handle's on the left. Let me know what your name is. I'll, set, I'll accept you in a little bit. Too far away from the dick shot, so Lin Kuei's balls will be spared for about two seconds, and we're gonna shut him down. You got Jax Briggs is in, and we're gonna punch him right in his black cock for the victory in twelve fights. Two thousand three hundred and five XP, one thousand four hundred coins. And for completing the second battle, we receive twenty thousand coins. What do you do that day? So in the third matchup, Silver Tier characters only allowed in your team. In the first matchup, we have Reptile, Sub-Zero, and Devorah. Cards start off at level 20 Silver. Skip the match, it's 5,000 coins. Teddy, I did say you can add me. Just send a request. Reptile gets eliminated. Sub-Zero is it. Sub-Zero gets eliminated, and we're going to punch Devorah in her salty pussy for the victory in the first fight. Please clean that out. Your vagina is drier than Donald Trump's personality. 2,283 XP, 400 coins. In the second matchup, we have Kano, Kung Jin, and Kobo Kai. Cards get a level of 21. Skip the match is 5,000 coins. We're going to start by punching Kano in his dick. Not quite enough to eliminate him. Kano is gone. Kung Jin is in. We're going to punch him out, too. And Koto Khan trying to do away with Johnny Cage. And Johnny Cage not having anything to do with it. We're going to punch him right in the dick. What a victory. You got Cage! That must be like a Bugatti death clutch. I like it. 2,305 XP, 500 coins. Let's go switch our roster now. So we're going to throw in Reptile and Classic Katana. We're going to use the weakest card. Even though Reptile is actually a really good, Classic Katana has that annoying three-hit combo with a nice power drain. And she has the sexiest ass in the game. So in the third matchup, we have Sonya Blade, Johnny Cage, and Jackie Brazier is black. Cards gain a level of 22. Let's get the match is 5,000 coins. So for anybody who wants to look at Katana's ass, we're going to put her in the match for about 15 seconds. You guys can take shots, duel, whatever else you want to do. Sonya Blade gets pussy punched out. There is that sexy ass. My god. That is fucking gorgeous. Look at Power Game 2 be a nurse. Here's Johnny. That fuck bitch. Why is it that Johnny Cage is punching out more women than guys? That's sexy. Is that me or is Johnny Cage a pig? 2,327 XP, 600 coins. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. Going up against Kung Jin, Jax Briggs, who is black, and Sub Zero. Cards again a level of 23. The right card gains a promotion to Fusion 1. Skip the match is 7,500 coins. <laughs> 97p Howard, no looks up. It's all about fucking Katana's ass. Kung Jin gets eliminated. Jax Briggs is it. Will we get to see some black cock punctured? Yes, we will. Who shot the lot? Bring in that ass. That is not ass. That's fucking disgusting. Bring in the ass. Let's go. Bring in that ass. You know you want it. I will let Reptile die so we see that ass. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that ass. Even frozen that ass is sexy as fuck. 
<laughs> Fuck you, Sub Zero. You won my moment, bro. For the victory in the fourth fight. 2,349 XP, 700 coins. And for completing one third of the third battle, we received 6,000 coins. So, in the fifth matchup, we have Scorpion, Reptile, and Cassie Cage. Cards gain a level of 24. Skip the match is 7,500 coins. Let's punch Scorpion right in the dick. Eliminated it. Reptile is it. I'm gonna punch him in the deck again. Go on, go, Reptile. Cassie Cage is it. And we're gonna blow out her pussy as well. What a victory in the fifth part. Let's do it with some ass. That's what I'm talking about. 2,370 XP, 800 coins. In the sixth matchup, we have Jax Briggs, Classic Katana, and Sonya Blade. Cards again a level of 25, so the match is 7,500 coins. Punch out that black eye. Classic Katana comes in. We're pussy punch her as well. Oh, we got more pussy to punch out. I love it. Give me that wet, juicy pussy. That's what I just fucked you up. Sonya Blade gets eliminated for the victory in the sixth fight. Thank you, Death Clutch 5150 for the follow on Twitch. Welcome to God of Assholes Club. 3,190 XP, 900 cards. So in the seventh matchup, we have Ermac, Johnny Cage, and Kobo Kai. Cards are getting a level of 26, and the match is now 10,000 coins. Fight. Punch Ermac right in his hairy dick. Excellent. He hasn't shaved his ass in like 100 years. We're going to punch Johnny Cage right in the dick, too. Almost enough to get rid of him blocking. We do knock him out. Polo Cup is gonna get dick shot for the victor. Please wear a cup next time you smell. 3,219 XP, 1,000 coins. So I'm gonna make a roster change. We have Dark Magic. Let's throw in. Let's throw in Sub Zero. Let's throw in Kung Jin. So in the eighth matchup, we have Challenge Dark Magic. Your team takes damage as the match goes on. Going up against Kenchi, Reptile, and Kano. Cards gain a level of 27. So the match is 10,000 coins. If this is going on YouTube, shouldn't you edit the Mario thing? No, it does not cause a copyright strike because it's not a full thing. I get where you're coming from that, but because it's so short... I, I did get that notification tell me uh, add you right now. Oh, I got two flags. Adding all of them. Yeah, I got 30 worth of fragments left. We had 80 tattoo up. Reptile gets eliminated. Kano comes in. And we're gonna get rid of Kano in just a second. For the victory in the eighth fight. I wonder how much assholes and intent they're going to be about the Switch. I think it's going to be a cool concept, but I heard that the battery life in uh, tablet mode is only two and a half to three hours. And considering that you can't even stand it up while you're charging, it's a fail. Uh, you, know, you would think they would learn the lesson with the gamepad. People didn't like the gamepad because the battery life was so horrible. Granted, you can just keep it plugged into a wall, and it does use a USB-C charger, but you know what? Make the fucking console half a pound heavier and get seven hours of battery life. I think that's acceptable. 3,248 XP, 1,100 coins. So for completing two-thirds of the third battle, we receive 7,000 coins. In the ninth matchup, we have Scorpion, Jax Briggs, and Jackie Briggs, two of which are black. Cards gain a level of 28. So the match is 10,000 coins.
By the way, have they confirmed any black people other than Cyborg and Injustice 2? I'm kind of curious about that. Is Cyborg going to be the only one? Why have they not put in some of the DC Legends characters in Injustice 1, I wonder? Injustice Mobile. Impressive. I always wonder that. I'm going to punch out Jackie Brady. Jack Spray's coming in with a fury. And Jack Spray's gets eliminated for the victory of the fight. 3,277 XP, 1,200 coins. In the 10th matchup, we have Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and Ermac. Cards are getting a level of 29, so the match is now 12,500 coins. Punch Johnny Cage in the deck. There's enough to get rid of him because it's not blocked. Sonya Blade about to get eliminated. Oh, she is going to survive momentarily. Punch that out. Ermac comes in. Gotta punch him twice in the balls. Still surviving that. And we get rid of him for the victory. One thousand points for finally leveling up a card as Kung Jin gains a level of forty-two, three thousand three hundred six XP, one thousand three hundred coins. So in the eleventh matchup, we have Kenshi, Scorpion, and Cassie Cage. Cards gain a level of thirty, so the match is twelve thousand five hundred coins. Punch out Kenshi. Cassie Cage is it. Join your kick down. Cassie Cage gets eliminated by a couple of shots. You did not see the live stream of Justice 2, no. I'll have to watch it. Scorpion gets eliminated for the victory in the 11th fight. 3,335 XP, 1,400 coins. In the twelfth matchup, we have Challenge Vampires, enemies drain your life to regain their own. Run up against Classic Katana, Kolo Khan, and Jax Briggs. Cards get a level of 31, so the match is 12,500 coins. Yeah, I registered for Injustice 2 beta. I got accepted in the Join 4 honor. It's closed beta. I did not get accepted into Injustice 2. Yeah. And Jack Bray is going to hit right in the ball. Jack Bray gets eliminated for the victory. 3,364 XP, 1,500 coins. And for completing the third battle, we receive 35 souls. So in the fourth matchup, your team must be made up of only gold Spec Ops cards. So we're going to change our filter. And wouldn't you know it, one of our Spec Ops cards is Johnny Cage. So there will be a lot more dick punching. Alright, so Tactical Sonya Blade is the must-have card in the fifth battle. Let's put in Cold War Sonya Blade. We only have, I thought we had two. Alright, we have A-list Johnny Cage. Do I not have Stunt Double? Apparently not. So, let's start off with A-list Johnny Cage. And let's use Demolition Sonya Blade. So, A-list Johnny Cage. We're going to give some damage gear to We're going to give him the Wrath Hammer. Give him the bloody Shokin armor and the bloody voodoo doll. So in the first matchup, we have Farmer Jack Briggs, Reptile, and Johnny Cage. Outer cards have a promotion. All cards start at level 28 silver. Let's get the match is 7,500 coins. All 63 fights in this battle will have dick shots. John Stewart Green Lantern will come as a skin for Green Lantern, but they will make him his own voice. Which is cool. Same as Power Girl and Reverse Flash. That's pretty cool. 
So wait. The well, John Stewart Green Lantern is the only black character, Join or is there a black version of those two as well? It's kind of curious. The reptile is it. So the advantage we have with Cold War Sonya Blade is that the first special is not going to do a lot of damage. So we're just going to kick Reptile out. We want to power drain at Johnny Cage and hit him in the dick. Join your beat down. That frozen effect looks kind of cool. Now Johnny Cage gets a dick shot for the victory in the first fight. 3,335 XP, 500 points. In the second matchup, we have Classic Katana, Scorpion, and Kano. Cards gain a level of 29, so the match is 7,500 coins. Classic Katana right away takes a pussy puck, and you can really see the ass when the opponent uses Classic Katana. That is a gorgeous lady in there. Look at that detail. Classic Katana is going to punch Scorpion a power grab. You got kids. I really like the way that WWE Immortals handle the power drain. If you block a power drain, it does not work. I really wish they carried that over in Mortal Kombat X, but I like the interaction with Injustice, and of course the LexCorp two-piece can reverse that. 3,364 XP, 600 coins. In the third matchup, we have Sonya Blade, Kobokan, and Farmer Jack Briggs. Cards get a level of 30, so the match is 7,500 coins. Fight. I'm gonna punch Sonya Blade right in her pussy. That Johnny Cage fucked raw this morning. Get a song. Promo Cotton is gonna get hit right in the deck. Johnny Cage really not having a lot of problems. Power Dream's really strong in Mortal Kombat X. And the only real hard counter that is Dark Wraith, the part where Jack Briggs is in. We're gonna punch him right in his black cock. Maybe he'll choke on that cigar. And we're gonna punch him again. What a victory. <laughs> 3,393 XP, 700 coins. In the fourth matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Run up against Jackie Briggs, Kenchi, and Scorpion. Cards gain a level of 31, so the match is now 10,000 coins. The cards have between 3 and 4,000 health. I'm gonna punch Jackie Briggs right in her pussy. That is enough to get rid of her. Kenchi comes in. Let's punch him. Make sure we can keep his power down because we don't want him power down. So on normal difficulty, regeneration is not ridiculous. Obviously, we could not get away with this on hard difficulty. We're unpromoted or fusion one card. Kenji does get eliminated. Scorpion's going to get power drain. Is he going to get to one bar before Johnny K? Looks like it. But he's not using a special. I'm going to punch him right in the dick. Join your beat down. Scorpion gets eliminated for the victory in the fourth fight. 3,422 XP, 800 coins. And for completing one third of the fourth battle, we receive five souls. So, in the fifth matchup, we have Johnny Cage, Ermac, and Sonya Blade. Cards again a level of 32, so the match is 10,000 coins. Punch Johnny Cage right in the ball. Johnny Cage almost eliminated. We're just gonna save our power. Ermac comes in. I'm gonna punch Ermac right in the dick. I didn't have to get rid of him. Sonya Blade in at one bar. That doesn't do a lot because of the ice barrier. So we're just gonna pussy punch Sonya Blade down. And that one is not blocked. Sonya Blade will be eliminated for the victory of the fifth fight. 3,451 XP, 900 points. So we're going to make a roster change. Let's throw in Heavy Weapons Jack Briggs. Let's throw in Jackie Briggs. So in the sixth matchup, we have Cassie Cage, Classic Katana, and Scorpion. The cards gain a level of 33, so the match is 10,000 coins. 
We probably should have used Undead Hunter Johnny Cage first, but we'll have to use another soul to recharge that. How do I get accepted on the Xbox One? I made sure I used my Hollywood show on gmail.com. That way, they knew who I was. Join your feet down. <laughs> Cassie Cage is a classic katana and nut punch is gonna hit for a little bit of damage, keeping katana's power down. We're gonna power drain again. Is that enough to get rid of her? Yes it is. Scorpion comes in almost at one bar. So the nut punch on Scorpion only hits for 855. Johnny Cage in trouble for the first time. That spear is going to do some work. Take out a decent amount of Johnny Cage's health. So, Jackie Briggs with the plasma the blast. That's enough to get rid of him for the victory in a sixth fight. 3,480 XP, 1,000 points. In the seventh matchup, we have Kolo Khan, Kung Jin, and Ken Shi. Cards getting a level 34, so the match is now 12,500 points. Dick shot Cole Cop. Takes out about half of the way health. So we're gonna get rid of Cole Cop. We're gonna probably wait on power draining King Jim. We wanna save our power and make sure Kenshi doesn't power drain us. So we're gonna just cut him down. We got two bars and we have to punch. Yeah, we're gonna punch Kenshi before he gets to a bar. That was a great punch right to his dick. A uh, beautiful thing about the bloody voodoo dolls, you actually save 15% of the power. But if you have talents, you can also reduce that even further. So that's pretty good. Kenshi gets eliminated. 3,509 XP, 1,100 coins. In the 8th matchup, we have Challenge Vampires, enemies drain your life to regain their own. Run up against Cassie Cage, Ermac, and Scorpion. Cards gain a level of 35, so the match is 12,500 coins. Punch Cassie K right in her pussy. Almost eliminated. Cassie K just wiped out. What a dick shot, Ermac. Probably could have saved it for Scorpion. However, we can build that up fairly quickly. What a punch out, Ermac. Almost enough to get rid of him right on the spot. That three hit hit knocks him out. Scorpion comes in. Impressive. Beautiful thing about the vampire challenge: if your opponent can't hit you, he can't heal. Scorpion gets hit right in the dick for the victory in the eighth fight. 3,538 XP, 1,200 coins. And for completing two thirds of the fourth battle, we received 10 souls. In the ninth matchup, we have Kolo Khan, Kenshi, and Johnny Cage. Cards gain a level of 36, and the match is 12,500 coins. Double power drain. That's two bars. Let's just punch out Cole Cop. Decent amount of health. Man. Johnny Cage is in. 15% health does not affect Cole Cop. So we got the nut punch on Johnny Cage. Takes on about half of his health. Punchy is at one bar. Luckily, we do not get power drained by Johnny Cage. We can power drain Kenshi for days. Two power drains. Kenshi should be eliminated here for the victory in the ninth fight. Three thousand five hundred sixty-seven XP, one thousand three hundred coins. At the tenth matchup, we have Devora, Ermac, and Kun Jin. Cards gain a level of 37, so the match is now 15,000 coins. Fight! <laughs> 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 
Rusty Punch Devora. Slime all over his hands. Devora gets eliminated, Ermac comes in. Punch Ermac down. Join your beat down. Let's get rid of Ermac. Who Jin will come in by himself? This three hit combo. Nut punch will prevent Kung Jin from getting Join your beat down. And because of bloody voodoo all we can punch again, Kung Jin is eliminated quite easily for the victory in the top five. 3,596 XP, 1,400 coins. So I'm going to make a final roster change. Let's throw in Balance Kenshi. And we can use Undead Hunter Johnny Cage now. Let us throw in... We can throw in Cybernetic Jackie Braids. We just won't Johnny use Cage. it. So we're going to use the Wrath Hammer. The Bloody Shokin Armor. And the Bloody Voodoo Doll. So the reason I like the Bloody Voodoo Doll... It's just such a good power generation slash reduced power cost item. Now, obviously, there are talents that can work like that too, but it's just a nice part. So on the 11th matchup, we have Kodal Khan, Jax Briggs, and Scorpion. Cards get a level of 38, so the match is 15,000 coins. Kotokan gets punched in the head. I don't know why I, have, I did buy the uh, X-ray on this guy. Kotokan gets wiped out. Jack plays the limit. I got the cracker on Scorpion. He takes out all of his health for the victory in the last fight. 3,625 XP, 1,500 coins. In the 12th matchup, we have a challenge off balance. Your team was caught off guard, random tagging. Run up against Kenshi, Sub Zero, and Cassie Cage. Cards gain a level of 39. Scott the match is 15,000 coins. Sub-Zero takes a dick shot as well. I must take out all of the top. Balance Kenshi is going to annihilate Cassie Cage. Cassie Cage is eliminated for the victory in the 12th fight. 3,654 XP, 1,600 coins. And for completing the 4th battle, we receive a card pack. Inside, we receive... A special, an X-ray and a gold tier character. Drinker of Blood, which is 3% attack for Kolo Khan. And the silver card is... Jax Briggs, so that's only our second one. 1,153 attack, 1,859 health, 1,648 toughness, 1,236 recovery. Alright, so Tactical Sonya Blade must be on your team, which really sucks. I really hate that they keep recording stupid, useless cards in these challenges. So, we can take off all of the filters. We're going to leave in Undead Hunter Johnny Cage as long as we can. So, we can leave Balance Kenshi for a couple fights, and then we'll have to rotate them out. Or, we can just put good characters in now. Let's throw an undercover Cassie Cage instead. So in the first matchup, we have Mournful Katana, Bojutsu Kunjin, and Thunder God Raiden. Cards start off at level 31 gold. So the match is 15 souls. Fight. Let's make sure that Katana cannot power him. That would be basically one shot. So Thunder God Raiden is tough win. Let's get rid of Raiden. 
Kojutsu Kujin comes in. Game power when he blocks. Get out the nut punch on him. Kojutsu Kujin eliminate for the victory in the first fight. 3,625 XP, 600 points. In the second matchup, we have Flaming Fist, Liu Kang, Heavy Weapons, Jack Briggs, and Blood God Kolo Kai. Cards gain a level of 32. Skip so the match is 15 souls. Dick shot, Liu Kang. Soon enough to get rid of the Blood God Kolo Kai comes in. Double County Limited, and Jack Bird is it. Can you join your beat down? And Heavy Weapons Jack Bird is eliminated for the victory in the third fight. 3,654 XP, 700 coins. So, in the third matchup, we have Balance Kenshi, Piercing Molina, and Shaolin Kung Jin. Cards gain a level of 33, so the match is 15 souls. Only Shaolin Kung Jin will get a bar of power. Kenshi also starts with a bar, but that's because of his passive. So, you so he do that punch that way, he can't power the us. Piercing Molina comes in. Let's just get rid of Pierce and Molina because they're at two bars. You got candy. Shaolin Kung Jin also had a bar and a half, and we're able to power during them under a bar. Shaolin Hunter Johnny Cage, a ridiculous card in my opinion. Definitely above average. 3,683 XP, 800 coins. He also gains a bar and a half of power when somebody resurrects, so I'm sure you're going to see that at some point. So let's get rid of Undercover Cassie Cage. We're doing this really well with Johnny Cage by himself. Let's throw in that Dark Raiden in case we deal with Dark Magic. So in the fourth matchup, we have Nimble Reptile, Bone Shaper Chinook, and Sun God Kolo Kai. Cards are level 34. Skip so the match is now 20 souls. Right. Don't have a dick shot on Nimble Reptile. It takes out about two thirds of his heart. Nimble Reptile almost eliminated. Let's have a slime shot first. Bone Shaper Chinook almost at a bar. There it is. Chinook gets dick shot. Sun God Kotokan comes in. Takes a hard shot to the ball. And Sun God Kotokan eliminates for the victory in the fourth fight. 3,712 XP. 900 coins as Dark Raiden gains a level of 31. In the fifth matchup, we have Challenge Vampires. Enemies drain your life to regain their own. Going up against Ronin Kenshi, Demolition Sonya Blade, and Gunslinger Aaron Black. Let's get the matches 20 salts. Gonna punch Ronin Kenshi. Good enough to get rid of him. Gunslinger Aaron Black is in. Aaron Black almost eliminated. Donald Trump's bitch is gonna get pussy punched. Yes, sir. Demolition Sonya Blade eliminate for the victory. 3,741 XP, 1,000 coins. And for completing one third of the fifth battle, we received 15 souls. So on the sixth matchup, we have Assassin Katana, Possessed Kenshi, and Spectral Ermac. The cards gain a level of 35, so the match is 20 souls. I'm gonna punch Assassin Katana out. Possessed Kenshi is gonna burn and stole a bar, so I'm gonna punch him in the deck. It looks like something blocked that out. I'm not exactly sure what. So why didn't take fire damage? Spectral Ermac gets eliminated for the victory. 
3,770 XP, 1,100 coins. I really think that one of my talents went off. Let's take a look here. 20% resistance all debuff, so that's why we did not get hit by fire damage. Pretty cool there. So, yeah. I like the tactical support tree. It's pretty badass. You guys probably have a different outlook, but I think it's a pretty fun tree. I was wondering why I didn't get burned, though. So on the seventh matchup, we have Ninjutsu Scorpion, Grandmaster Sub-Zero, Heavy Weapons, Jax Briggs. Cards gain a level of 36, but the match is 25 salt. Ninjutsu Scorpion almost eliminated. Grandmaster Sub-Zero is in. And we're gonna try to punch out Sub-Zero too far away. But we can get him on the rebound. Grandmaster Sub-Zero almost to his club. When I first started Mortal Kombat X, Grandmaster Sub-Zero was actually one of my favorite cards in the game. Special 2 has done a lot of damage. I really like the interaction with the Ice Daggers. But also, that second life comes with big handy. Especially when you're trying to avoid overkill damage. And it's the same thing with the Jason. This is the same effect, even though sub is a little bit more extreme. And he also has better, more reliable ways to heal, even though uh, unstoppable Jason can from his special, too. As can Sub-Zero. 3,799 XP, 1,200 coins. So in the 8th matchup, we have Demolition, Sonya Blade, Inferno Scorpion, and a Kraken Reptile. Cards gain a level of 37, so the match is 25 salt. Punch out the demolition so I'm enough to get rid of it. So Kraken Reptile is mildly annoying because of the heavy reflect damage. But I really like the card. I really think it's cool to add the card. If you have ways to heal reptiles, it's absolutely insane what he can do. Join your feet down! And just like Revenant Cool Out, it's one of those sleeper cards that are way better than given credit for. 3,828 XP, 1,300 coins. So on the ninth matchup, we have Sun God Kotokan, Noxious Reptile, and Shaolin Master Kung Lao. The cards gain a level of 38, so the match is 25 souls. Still having no problems even using a 25 fusion one in these fights. I'm gonna punch out some guy Colocon and get rid of him. Join your feet down! Watch his reptile come in. Impressive. Shaolin Master Kung Lao comes in and takes a heavy shot. Shaolin Master Kung Lao is supposed to get dick shot, but we were too far away. It's gonna jab him in the face for the victory in the ninth fight. 3,857 XP, 1,400 coins. So now we're going to make yet another roster chain. Now we're going to start putting in good cards. So we're going to throw in Slasher Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees. So how are you guys liking the 63 fights with Johnny Cage and 63 fights of Dick Shots? Only card in the game that can actually do that. So in the 10th matchup, we have Challenge Off Balance. Your team is caught off guard, Random Taggy. Run up against Piercing Molina, Revenant Jax Briggs, Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs. The cards lose 8 levels but gain a promotion to Elite 1. So the match is now 30 souls. So now these guys have about 10,000 health. We'll see how good Johnny Cage is at dealing damage. Still got some high damage attacks though. Lena not able to get out of the box. Pretty much eliminated. The Revenant Jack Briggs is in. Bringing the Fury of Africa. Revenant Jack Briggs takes a hard shot. Down goes one jack, and the other one comes in and just starts slugging away on Johnny Cage. Impressive. We're gonna punch Jack Briggs again in his black cup. Can we get a trifecta going? Yes, we can for the victory of the top fight. You got Cage! 3,886 XP as both Undead Hunter Johnny Cage and Tactical Sony Blade gain levels. 
26 and 24 fusion, won 1,500 coins. Hope for completing two thirds of the fifth battle, we received 20 souls. In the 11th matchup, we have Assassin Katana, Covert Ops, Cassie Cage, Unstoppable Jason Voorhees. The cards gain a level of 31 Elite 1, so the match is 30 souls. Fight. I'm get a nut punch off on Katana. Join your big so far, Undead Hunter Johnny Cage has been able to handle everything by himself. The beautiful part is, if we can survive to a bar and a half with a Jason, we're going to go to three bars and actually get out. Exciting. So I kind of want to avoid taking special damage on Cassie Cage. Cassie, no, he cannot. He's power drain down. Unstoppable Jason Voorhees is it. As long as we can finish this fight at a bar and a half with gold, I'll just let him hit me down. Unstoppable Jason Block before he's block spanning. There's the Undead Hunter. Can we actually before he gets a special off? Yes, we can. First century in the match, and Jason Voorhees eliminated. Thirteen thousand seven hundred twenty-nine damage for the victory in the eleventh fight. Three thousand nine hundred fifteen XP. One thousand six hundred coins. So in the twelfth matchup, we have Cold War Sonya Blade, Flaming Fuck, Liu Kang, Heavy Weapons, Jax Briggs. Only the left card gains a level to 32, so the match is 30 salts. Uh, nut punch on Sonya Blade, now I'm gonna hit for much of the show. This one will roll. Hits for 33 13. Let's just get rid of it. Liu Kang with some heavy damage. A power drain now. Luckily, the power drain aspect does not get affected by the shield. And the good news is that Classic Sonya and Cold War Sub Zero are completely illegal now. They're not going to get banned for buying the challenge pack. Join your cut down. That nut punch heavy weapon jack does cannot Johnny Cage survive. Let me see you. That machine gun might do some work though. And heavy weapons Jack brings easily in for the victory. Three thousand nine hundred and forty-four XP, one thousand seven hundred coins. So we're gonna throw in classic Scorpion for the next three fights. So in the 13th matchup, we have Challenge Regeneration. Enemies regenerate health over time. Run up against Dark Raiden, Ronin Kenshi, Undead Hunter, Johnny Cage. All cards gain 1 to 2 levels of 33. So the match is 35 souls. So this is a really bad fight for Dark Raiden because he can't be power drink. You can, however, still hit him down with a Shadow Drop yet. So we're going to see if we can connect on that. That is enough to get rid of him, so that was a huge blow. I'm gonna dick shot Ronin and catch him. Ronin and catch him trying to heal up, but he's not able to get on the defense. I'm dead Hunter Johnny Cage, though. We're gonna go on the offense right away so he's gonna power drink. And here you guys thought I was gonna switch to classic stuff, get out of here. Let's power drain so he can't. Join your beat down. Yeah, nut punch again. You got it. Turned off another dick shot. Undead Hunter Johnny Cage gets eliminated for the victory in the 13th fight. 3,973 XP, 1,800 coins. In the 14th matchup, we have Slasher Jason Voorhees, Balls of Souls, Ermac, and Cobra Ops Cassie Kick. Cards gain a level of 34, the right card gains a promotion to Fusion 2. So the match is 35 souls. Fight. So the beautiful thing about Slasher Jason Voorhees is that through the end of his life, we're going to hit him with an extra. We 
could make it the second one, but I think we'll just have Scorpion take some damage. <laughs> So there's the second life. Let's wait for the special move. There it is. So cold on the casting cage because they were going to have the casting call. And that should be enough to get rid of it. Toughness excluded. The only thing that's going to save it. And it does. Big shot on Johnny Cage. But we're still gonna pussy punch her down. You got <laughs> Slasher Jason, not quite in the bar. We're gonna get rid of him. Master Soul Kermak is in. This is blocked. We have a chance for a bloody choke in our game. Like, unfortunately, we didn't get We can power game him down. Out of Dead Hunter, Johnny Cage actually surviving the whole thing for the victory in the 14th fight. 4,002 XP, 1,900 coins. So on the 15th matchup, Boss Sub-Zero summons the Chilled Winner's Slow Punch and increase his power generation. Bosses do not have power. Sorry, bro. So we are going to throw in good old Aayla's Johnny Cage just to save us all. So we're not really going to do well with Johnny Cage, but you never know. We can try. As long as we don't get X-rayed, Johnny Cage will probably do some work. All right, so Boss Sub-Zero is level 40, Fusion 1, 8,745 attack, 22,000 health. Skip the match is 50 souls. Let's put on the bloody top lock on Sub or on Scorpion. Just so we can easy mode this. Fight. I don't understand how the boss has power generation. He's got no need. Is that a hundred percent damage currently? That spike was kind of cool. There's the speed decrease. There goes Johnny Cage. First elimination for the Johnny Cage the entire match. Unfortunately, Boss Sub Zero is going to go down in like one shot. Let's just burn him up. Hellfernal, Boss Sub-Zero easily eliminated for the victory in the 15th fight. No chance of surviving 50,000 damage. 4,837 XP, 2,000 coins. And for completing the 5th battle, we receive 50 souls, and we get our Cold War Scorpion. So the card is 1,000 attack, 1,200 health. The passive is increases team power generation and decreases opponent team Power generation for each Cold War team member, plus 50% critical damage for its frozen opponents. This passive is ridiculous, because anything that dampens power generation, like you guys have seen in Injustice, with Cold War, or with Killer Frost, is absolutely ridiculous. Now, obviously, the... I believe there's only two... There's three Cold Wars. There's Scorpion, uh, Sonya Blade, and then now Sub-Zero, so... Three ridiculous cards. So, there's the evening login. So we're going to go into our collection. So Cold War Sub-Zero with support cards has 1150 damage, 1380 health, 1075 toughness, 1100 recovery, and 110 power generation. So, like we usually do with cards lately, we're going to level it up to 20, and we're going to do some testing in Faction Wars. It's not that great as passive sucks. What do you mean? How bad is the power generation? Because any amount of power generation you can dampen is actually pretty strong. I mean, people do have ways to like gain bars apart, but keep in mind, Cold War Scorpion is the one you really gotta watch out for because his burn affects the entire team. So we're gonna test this out anyway. So we're gonna get him up to 20. I also wanna do an X-ray with Cold War Sub-Zero as well. So hopefully we can get that off. I accidentally caught Sub-Zero Scorpion. Oh well. There is a Cold War Scorpion too though. Alright, so there's level 20. So now we can buy the X-Ray. Alright, so the Ice Clone Smash High Damage Plus Freeze. 
Interesting card. Yes, yeah, so more critical damage restores opponents can be really good. So it's the same X ray. So for Cold War Sub Zero, we're going to throw on the Wrath Hammer. Keep in mind the Ice Daggers can be a really powerful choice too, because being able to heal on Special 2 is insane. But for the purpose of this testing, we're not going to do it. We're going to do the Bloody Shokin Armor and the Bloody Voodoo Doll on purpose. That way, he can get the three bars. Let's go into Faction Wars. Let's assemble a team. Alright, so... All the cards are available. Where is Scorpion? Sub Zero. Sort by newest. That'll probably be easier to find them. Alright, so there's Cold War Sub Zero. So we need Cold War Sonia Blade. We also need Cold War Scorpion. Sonia was one of the earlier challenges, so she's going to be pretty far back. There she is. All right. So Cold War Sonya Blade obviously has the most stats. So Cold War Scorpion. Scorpion. We're going to have some fun with Scorpion. And how are we going to do that? We're going to use the Devastator Blaze's Life Force. And let's throw on... I think it's a Draconic Shield that reflects yes. So he's going to be our opener. Let's get the From Hell. I don't know why we didn't have that. So we're going to use that. And Same. Sonya Blade. So I already got the military vest. That is fine. Let's throw on the Bloody Tomahawk. And let's just throw on the dr Dragon Essence. Alright, so we're going to do a three battle matchup online. Passive doesn't really do a whole lot, can hardly notice it. And that could be true, but re remember, they probably learned their lesson from Killer Frost being broken as hell. So we're going to have to see. So in the first battle, we have Ronin Kenshi, Flaming Fist, Liu Kang, and Ninjutsu Scorpion. I think the best way to actually test this out would be like in Shao Kahn's Tower. But even if it's 15%, that is still fairly noticeable. Let's see here. Fight! No burn, that sucks. Let's get in, uh... One more sub here. I'm going to start off getting you an expert. I already have two bad. Where's the flaming fist? That's really cool, man. We got the deep freeze on Liu Kang. That is sexy as well. Luckily, that hit through the ice shield. So we got the ice ball. It's the same standard one, not the same one that uh, Classic Scorpion has. So I'm really thankful for that. Sub Zero taking a lot of damage from Scorpion. We got the ice clone smash. Wow, that did some work. So we're going to go the flame shield. Look at the combo, boys. Get over here. Big shot by Kenshi. Huh? And we're just going to shoot him down. Impressive. Kenshi blocking. That's the worst thing you can do against that move. Easily eliminated. That spear is not going to do much. Let's just finish him off. For the victory in the first fight. What's going on, Arkham? Long time no see. Welcome to the stream. 34,800 XP, 1,229 coins, 2,200 battle points, 100 war points. So in the second fight, we have a Dark Emperor Liu Kang, Undead Hunter Johnny Cage, and Nightmare Freddy Krueger. I forgot about that card. This fight's going to suck. Luckily, we do have the shield, but maybe we can burn. Fight. Nope. 
unfortunately not. You basically just have to avoid using whoever Freddy Krueger's nightmare is. Impressive. Big shot there. Let's go off the arc kick on Blue Cat. Outstanding. We get Cold War Scorpion with two bars before Johnny Cage can power drain. Probably not. We're gonna try it anyways. Nope. Big power drain for about a bar. So we're just gonna get off the flame shield by 2 I believe he has the most health too. Run away. I've not seen Freddy Krueger, and I'm not sure who is Nightmare. Get over here! Looks like it is Cold War Scorpion. I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, we still can't tag out. Next. Come here! Luckily, Cold War Scorpion is a really powerful card. So, Freddy Krueger is at two bars. Still unable to tag out. Screen effect is really cool, though. So will the defense increase save Freddy Krueger? Yes it does. Lots of gnarly damage is up. But Sub-Zero already backed the two bars and Freddy Krueger should be eliminated right here for the best of the fight. 34,800 XP, 1,229 coins, 2,200 battle points, 100 war points. So in the third matchup, we have Cassie Cage, Scorpion, and Tactical Sonya Blade. Two level 50 Elite 7 Silvers and a level 9. Well, if you use Thunder God Raiden, toughness is never an issue in anyway. No burn. That really sucks. Isn't that supposed to be like a 50% chance? Let's get some burn damage on Scorpion, shall we? Look at that power gap, that is great. Great synergy with Scorpion and Sub-Zero. A lot of them can stun. So you have to remember the stun mechanisms are really powerful. Like you could do this, Ice Bone Smash, and if Cassie were to survive, combo into the Flame Shield. That's just going to eliminate it. I don't know, I just think that you can use Sub-Zero and Scorpion together, even though you know, Scorpion's passive doesn't really work well together. Um, Sub-Zero is back. We also have the shield. But it should be interesting how classic Sony is going to play out. We already know that there's some really devastating teams, and I don't think the Cold War team is one of them. But it's still a fun team to use. Kind of like the Triborgs. Kind of like Relentless Jason, Slasher Jason, and, Scorp and Classic Scorpion. That's still is my favorite annoying team to use. So we get three souls, 49,329 XP, 1,786 coins, and 3,000 battle points. So for anybody curious to purchase Cold War Sub-Zero in the shop, you are going to need 400 souls, so it's a little bit cheaper than the Triborgs and Nightmare Freddy Krueger obviously being the most expensive, but pretty good card, for sure. So if you like this video on the full five battles of the Cold War Sub-Zero Challenge on normal difficulty a lot later than anticipated, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat X videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all hot, Shono. And hard difficulty will be done before the challenge expires on Wednesday. Have a wonderful day, kids. Finish him. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!